So, dann gucken wir. Das nächste ist Feeds. Da bin ich auch gespannt. 75 Feeds, so wie viel dort waren. Ne? Ja. 75 Feeds. So, when you're making your character now, you will you will first choose your class, the most important choice you make for your character, and then you will flesh out your character's origin. And so we like to think of it as you might decide, I want to be a fighter, or I want to be a rogue, or a cleric, or a wizard. And then you think, well, how did I get there? What did I do before I was a member of that class? And what do I know about my character's childhood? And so it's when you start mm -hmm. pondering those questions that you turn toward the character origins chapter. And you will essentially be going back in time in your character's backstory. So again, you start with your class, then you'll ponder, well, what was my character's background? And background is all about not only what you did prior to becoming an adventure. Schwierig. Schwierig, 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 aus dem einfachen Grund, weil, wie ja schon in dem ersten Video gesagt wurde, wo sie alles, wo sie alles quasi äh, vorgestellt haben, die Backgrounds sind jetzt Ability Score locked. Ja. Bestimmte Backgrounds geben bestimmte Ability Scores. Das heißt, wählst du einen Wizard, gehst du nicht plötzlich hin und wählst einen Background, der Stärke hat. Das. Oder beziehungsweise die, die halt die Sachen, also du wirst keinen Stärke-Wizard spielen. Du wirst auf den Background geforst. Ja. Also es werden wahrscheinlich einige Backgrounds da sein, ne, die ungefähr, also die, wo du, wo du sagen kannst, okay, die werden das haben, was ich haben will. Mhm. Aber es ähm, nimmt dir eine Entscheidung weg, klar. Es nimmt dir doch so ein bisschen was weg, ja. Also du kannst jetzt immer frei wählen, ah, okay, ich will, will den Background haben. Aber die Backgrounds waren eh, also meiner Meinung nach... Bist du richtig hardcore gegen die Spieler? Macht das einen Unterschied? Ja, genau. Also, also für, für mich waren die, genau, für mich waren die Backgrounds, äh, muss ich auch sagen, also die waren, die waren eher so, du, du nimmst halt irgendwas. Also, die, ne? Okay. Außer jetzt die zwei, die halt mit Tasha's Cauldron rauskamen, die Hammer Favor und Hammer Root. Die ja, geben einen ja. Feed dazu. Die das ist halt das, das das ist halt quasi ein Must-Have, was sie ja jetzt einbauen. Ne? Also, aber und Blut 8 Initiative und <lacht> kann dazu feucht werden, wenn du wach bist. Was? Ja. Also ist schon, ist schon nice, aber ich finde, ich weiß nicht, ob es ob's, ob's so cool ist, dass sie bei den Backgrounds das Ability Score lockt haben. Ich finde das besser, hätten sie das bei den Rassen gelassen und bei den Rassen gesagt, ja komm, Ihr dürft euch wählen, was ihr bei eurer Rasse mit dabei haben wollt. Ja, Weil, wahrscheinlich wird er einen sauren Apfel wollten sie rinbeißen, dann einfach das jetzt gefällt. Wobei sie über die Rassen ja auch noch nicht wirklich, also die, die, das Rassending ist ja, ist ja auch noch, also ich weiß gar nicht, ob sie das bei den Rassen rausgeholt haben, aber ich will es hoffen, weil ansonsten sind das ziemlich viele Ability Score Improvements, die man da bekommt. Ein bisschen startest du nachher mit äh, 20. Ja. Na, also plus ich hab, vier. Ich habe Angst vor äh, den Fights. Wie mhm. krass die also, alles aufwerten. Also, wo hast du das gemacht? Warst du ein Sailor? Warst du ein Kriminal? Warst du ein Akalite in einem Tempel? Warst du ein Sage? Und dann gehst du zurück in Zeit in deinem Charakter's Origin zu deinem Geburt. Ja, ich habe es cool, finde, dass sie jetzt Bilder mit dabei haben von den ganzen Backgrounds, dass man sich wirklich was vorstellen kann, was der Background hat. Und deine Background-Choice zusammen kombinieren, um dir einen Anzahl von kritischen Game-Kapabilitäten zu geben, die dir wirklich helfen, deinen Charakter zu Background hat viel mehr Gewicht für deinen Charakter jetzt, als es in den 2014 Regeln gab. Ja, hundertprozentig. Die Leute im Unearthed Arcana-Prozess haben eine Preview von this, wo in addition to giving you proficiencies, as backgrounds previously did, backgrounds also now all give you a feat at first level. They also determine ability score bonuses for you when you make your character. And these are ability score bonuses that really are rising up out of how your character spent their time prior to embarking on 
the wilds of adventure. And those two things in particular, the ability score adjustments that backgrounds bring, as well as the feet, mean your background will have an effect on your character for your entire career. And that was something that was not necessarily the case in 2014 backgrounds, except okay. for perhaps the proficiencies you got. Right. You would still enjoy those throughout your career. But now there are more parts of your character that are forever affected by your character's background. Now, to support the use of feats at first level, we have now divided feats up into categories because we don't want uh, a first level character to be plunged into the deep end of the yeah. feat pool. We want you to be able to sample feats uh, and to have that sampling be curated so that the feet you get from your background is from a special party selection die of feats hat. that are appropriate for a starting character. Nice. And so those feats are now in a category called origin feats appropriately enough because you get them as a part of your character origin. Now, even though they're in that category, later on, if you decide to go deeper into feats, you could potentially choose other origin feats for your character as well. But to start, each person gets just one origin feat that's provided by their background. In addition to the proficiencies your background is providing, as well as the ability score adjustments. Now, those ability score adjustments to me are really juicy because of the flexibility that we provide. And this is a flexibility that goes beyond anything that we previewed in Unart Arcana. So mm -hmm. what we now do in each background is we provide three ability options. And then you as a player decide, am I going to put plus two in one of those three, and you choose which of the three, or and then plus one in w one of the other two, or am I gonna do plus one in all three? So here's an example. The Acolyte, uh, if you decided your character, whatever class you're a part of, spent their formative years mm -hmm. serving in a temple in some capacity, you could choose Acolyte, and the Acolyte background tells you that the three abilities that you have the, the option to adjust are intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. And you have total freedom in which of those you decide gets the plus two, Good, aber, also, which one gets a plus one, or if you nicht so, maybe don't want to so make that choice drei and just give fucken. plus one to all mm -hmm. three. Also, right. das we ich noch because we want backgrounds to interlock with as many appropriate classes as possible. Previously, Mensch, schön, when die, die we previewed hat, this approach to backgrounds and weiß, them macht. providing ability score adjustments, one of the downsides of the, the playtest version is it kind of ja. hard-locked the backgrounds mm -hmm. to specific classes, yeah. and we did not want to proceed with that because in some ways that was recreating the exact problem that we were getting away from from 2014 species, because in 2014 these ability score adjustments existed inside the playable species, and one of the reasons we moved it out of there is we didn't like how that drove certain species to be combined with certain classes. We yeah. wanted people to feel more free to mix and match. And so here, rather than just recreate yes. the same restriction. Ability we now do have a little bit of a restriction, but you have tremendous amount of flexibility within it. I mean, because mm. you have three of the game's six abilities to play with, no matter which background you choose. And really it's just which three changes from background to background. And we made sure that there was a broad range of character building options uh, in the different backgrounds to support many different character builds. Like, mm -hmm. If I jump ahead uh, in the chapter to the guide, for instance, the guide's three abilities are dexterity, constitution, 
and wisdom. That combo means the guide is actually a happy background for a number of different classes, uh, particularly oh, because geez, everyone is happy to have constitution. Um, it, it really, any background that has constitution is one of the three will work with pretty much any class. And this was something very much on our minds as we created these trio of yeah. a, these trios in each of the backgrounds to really Wait, make sure sagen, okay, that maybe the 16 not backgrounds in this book plus packen, yeah? provide a constitution, huge decks array of wisdom? character building options. And now if someone yeah, wants class, to go yeah. beyond yeah, the 16 yeah. background options in the player's handbook, the new Dungeon Master's Guide provides guidance uh, under the DM's supervision on creating additional backgrounds. But in the player's handbook itself, there are these mm, but you can still other backgrounds machen, okay. There are a few backgrounds that share the feats that they offer because yeah. we, we did not want to force people to choose a certain background. Because uh, that was optimal. They're for for certain feats. Now there are a number of feats that are you know only one background offers that feat, but there are a few. And alert is a great example of them mm -hmm. where the feat <laughs> is offered by more than one background. Right. Uh, skilled is uh, similar. Oh, boy. Yes, particularly because the skilled feat is oh, so open-ended. All of these combinations of options, the feats, the ability score adjustments, the proficiencies. Also, the starting equipment that the backgrounds provide mean that each background is a package of very distinct options from the other backgrounds. Of course, you can dig deeper into feats if you decide to at higher levels. Uh, when everyone reaches fourth level, uh, they get uh, ability score increase, just as they did in the 2014 Player's Handbook. But ability score increase is now itself a feat and just like in 2014, you have the option of taking that feat or selecting a different one. And because we now have given everyone a taste of feats at first level, we wanted to make sure that this book had more feats available, which is why there are 75 of them in this book. So that uh, if you do decide to go into the, the fun customization world of feats, there's more there for you to play with, and the feats have all been uh, enhanced, in some cases completely redesigned. Mm -hmm. And then there's the whole other half of your origin. It's the question, ne? Also, ich zum, also nicht immer besser, würde ich behaupten sogar. Weil, wenn du jetzt zum Beispiel den, weil, weil wenn du Ability Score Improvement holst, kriegst du halt eine plus zwei und eine plus eins, glaube ich. Oder sogar nur plus zwei. Uh, also entweder plus 1, plus 1 oder plus 2. Ja, Und das Feeds ist halt cool, um 20 zu hitten, ne? Ja, aber manche Feeds ermöglichen die das ja auch. Und haben einen kleinen Nebeneffekt. Effekt. Die geben aber meistens nur plus 1 auf irgendeinen Ability-Score, nicht plus 2. Das stimmt, aber er hat ja auch gerade gesagt, dass er viele äh, wurde verstärkt haben, also verbessert haben. Oder komplett neu gemacht haben. Ja, aber dann da, gut, aber dann wäre das ja, sage ich mal, witzlos, wenn du den plus 2 Ability Score Improvement Feed hast und dann hast du woanders da, wo es auch plus 2, aber noch was anderes dazu gibt. Das ja. glaube ich, machen sie nicht. Also das glaube ich, da machen sie maximal einen dabei. Oder es gibt halt drei beim Ability Score Improvement. Dass du plus 2, plus 1 machen kannst oder plus 3 in irgendwas. So, plus eins, plus eins, plus eins. Also, deswegen, also einmal hole ich es eigentlich immer gerne. In, im kompletten, in der kompletten Character History mindestens einmal mit reinholen, mache ich eigentlich gerne, weil das bufft halt übel zur Sorte deine Ability. <lacht> deine Ability Score. Sagen wir es zum Beispiel, ähm, einen, äh, einen, einen Ranger, der dann plötzlich nicht, äh, äh, Plus zwei, sondern plus vier auf seinen Attacks hat. <lacht> also ich denke, das, 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 haut schon, das haut schon ordentlich rein. Aber ja, ansonsten sind Feeds definitiv besser. Was die wirklich wieder neu raushauen. Mm, ja. So viel. Ja. New things in the species. We've, 
we've got, and we've got new additions. So the orc has joined, Goliaths have joined, and the Asamar. The Asamar. And uh, those three brand new options, and uh, they, they join, of course, classic options like uh, human, elf, halfling, gnome, the tiefling, the dragonborn uh, are, are still with us as well. And every one of these species has been revisited, has been enhanced. Uh, a number of these enhancements people got to see in the Unearthed Arcana process, yeah. with, like the Dragonborn uh, having an enhanced uh, breath weapon, and then when they get to higher level, even gaining the ability to sprout wings and fly. Yeah. And even humans and halflings have been uh, revisited and in, in some of their traits redesigned. The Dragonborn are super Dragonborn. Uh, the Goliaths are very Goliath, because now they're tied to giants. Not surprisingly, if, if you have the background, uh, a background being a cloud giant in your heritage, then you can kind of, you know, misty step away, teleport away, because you're more of a trickster. But it's all based off like hill giant, storm, stone, all of it has different uh, abilities that you can choose from. And that is a part of the theme mm -hmm. that we had with the species, which was to really lean into the fantasy of each one. This is why. Uh, dwarves now have tremor sense Which that they amazing. can use a certain number of times a day, where we, again, wanting to lean harder into what what is the resonant fantasy of each of these peoples, uh, and part of that with dwarves, with their connection to the earth, well, let's give them this really a remarkable ability a certain number of times so per day enough. to sense things through the earth itself. Their dark vision has also gotten better. Feet, uh, dwarves and orcs both yeah. have dark vision That's up to 120 annoying. feet uh, in the new player's handbook. Uh, really driving home that certain peoples have spent, uh, at yeah. least their ancestors, have spent more time underground than some of the other peoples. Uh, humans, I mentioned, have been uh, redesigned with uh, the origin feats in the game in mind because now when you if you choose human you get to choose an additional origin feat for your character so you'll not only get the origin feat of your background but also uh, one of your choice uh, and uh, humans this is quasi a month of tumor sense can detect and pinpoint the origin of vibrations within a specific radius Provided that the monster and the source of the vibration are in contact with the same ground or substance. Okay. Also das heißt, du kannst halt, wenn du halt irgendwie in Höhlen oder äh, eigentlich, wenn du quasi auf dem Boden hörst, ja. so als, als Zwerg dann einfach quasi Kopf auf dem Boden und dann so, hä, hörst du da was? Das ist eigentlich cool, um, um Gegner zu tracken oder so, ja. Gar nicht so schlecht now each day start off uh, with heroic inspiration and That's right. also people will see ah, that, uh, human heroic inspiration need to species to really bring its own fantasy to life they're very asymmetrical in how we have designed them so some of them have uh, choice points in them where, you know, you mentioned the Goliath earlier where you might be picking a type of giant that you're associated with or, you know, Dragonborn have their different breath weapon options. But then we have others like the Halfling, the Dwarf, the Orc, where there aren't choice points like that because their fantasy didn't demand that in the design. But it's also because we did not want every single one to have the same complexity level. Just as our classes and subclasses have different complexity levels, the species have different complexity levels as well. So we mm -hmm. talk about a lot about meeting that fantasy, that wish fulfillment. Mechanically, that's done as well in action economy. The Goliath, being that it is now tied closer to giants, you can get big. It, once you hit a certain level, you can go one size larger. But you can do this as a bonus action. You're not taking a full action to have that happen for you. You're just getting big and then possibly attacking and terrifying a group. 
Dragonborn is the same thing, and this was a change that we saw in a previous book, but you can now use your breath weapon. Not only does it get more powerful over time, but if you take the attack action, one of those attacks can be the breath weapon. Absolutely. So you're not sacrificing, if you're a fighter, a bunch of your... What? No more, what? What? Da ist gerade rausgekommen. Ja, warte. Also, wenn ich das jetzt richtig verstanden habe, dann ist das ultra OP. So you're not sacrificing. Warte. Not only does it get more powerful over time, but if you take the attack action, one of those attacks can be the breath weapon. Absolutely. So you're not sacrificing if you're a fighter a bunch of your attacks, you know, that could be Also, entweder ist es immer noch eine Action, um das zu machen, oder es ist eine Action und du kannst deine Breath Weapon benutzen. Ja, absolut mal behindert. Das ist auch so ein Schiff wie damit. Also ich gehe schwer davon aus, es ist eine... Aber dann wäre die Frage, das, das könnte man doch eher machen, oder? Bin ich jetzt doof? Wenn du Multi-Attack hast, kannst du doch, kannst du, kann doch eine Attack davon eine Breath-Action sein. Das ist das nicht eine normale Attack, wo wir machen darf da nur? Ich weiß es nicht. Ich kann es dir nicht sagen. Ich weiß gerade echt nicht, ob das nur ein normaler Attack ist, den man machen darf. Das hat nicht mehr als so Last Shit. Hm. Ich hab halt noch kein Dragonborn Kid aus was da Bin ich sprachlos. Possibly more effective by using the breath weapon, you're just layering it on to what you can already do. And another example of us really deepening the fantasy and giving people more options is in the Asamar, where before you had to pick a single celestial mm. revelation, and that was true for your character yeah. forever. You now get to change that choice every time ich nicht so hundertprozentig. Uh, because we figured, well, an Asimar who is descended from... I mean, die, die sollten schon wissen, was ihr, was ihr Asimar kann, aber wenn ich hier den Asimar angucke, ja. dann steht hier... Hat er schon swappen können, oder? Oh! Ich habe das eigentlich immer schon so gespielt, den Asima, dass du, dass du eine der drei Sachen wählen kannst, die du halt machen willst. Ja. Aber, aber eigentlich steht hier, wenn du read third level, you choose one of the revelations below. Thereafter, you can use a bonus action to unleash the celestial energy within and gaining the benefits of that revelation. Das heißt, du wählst eigentlich quasi aus, welche von den drei du haben willst. Und dann kannst du nur noch die benutzen. Ach so, ah, du hast, ah, du hast halt so als Spell, das du... Ich habe das eigentlich so gedacht, ja, du kannst halt eine der drei Sachen benutzen. So, du warst, ja, Kevin, du warst einfach schon zu, äh, voraus. Ich, 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 du warst einfach schon ja, 2024. Gut, ich habe zwar, ich habe zwar trotzdem immer nur Necrotic Shout benutzt, aber, aber ja. ich hätte andere Sachen benutzen können. <lacht> ja. Äh. Celestials Easy. sure might have some days where they're in the mood to shine right. with light, but they might also have some days where they're they're more on the 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 vengeful end of the celestial spectrum and uh, choose one of the other celestial revelation options. So significant changes to species. We've got several more species to work with, and a lot of layered on abilities that kind of hit that. Again, that wish fulfillment of like, this is what I want. I want to be a big character, a big Goliath. I, get, I can get big. Bonus action, I'm huge. Now I'm just going to pummel. The character creation chapter in this book includes a sidebar that explains how to use backgrounds and species from older books. Uh, because mm -hmm. over the last decade, there have been several different approaches to where you get the, your ability right. score increase, do you get a feat or not, we have a rule in the character creation chapter on how to use backgrounds or species from other books that don't appear in this book. Uh, so any, any species or background that appears in this book 
that also appeared in an earlier book, the version in the New Player's Handbook is now the canonical version. But if there's, say, a species or background in an older book that is not in the New Player's Handbook and you would still like to use it, you can. And again, the character creation chapter provides guidance on how you can do that. The New Player's Handbook is available for pre-order right now on D&D Beyond. You can... Mm -hmm. Mhm. Die Vibes werden auf jeden Fall wild. Die ganzen Optionen. Die werden ähm, auf jeden Fall auf, auf jeden Fall wilder. Und dann bist du der DM. Lass die Leute mal gegen fünf Banditen fighten. Ja, und dann darfst du dich, dann darfst du dich freuen, ey. So, dort, dort, dort unten irgendwo, da ist so ein Like-Button. Den könnt ihr mal smashen. Und äh, vielleicht noch einen Kommentar hinterlassen. Und wenn ihr das getan habt, äh, lasst ihr vielleicht sogar noch ein Abo da und ähm, ich freue mich drüber. Dankeschön.